hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with biomedical instrumentation and so far uh, we were discussing about uh, the biomedical pressure transducers and uh, how uh, the pressure measurement uh, is done with the help of displacement transducers okay using diaphragm and all that so we all know that Biomedical pressure measurement is uh, very much important as pressure is an important diagnostic parameter, important vital parameter in the medical field. One of the most important parameters related to pressure uh, from the physiological point of view is blood pressure. So, so many biomedical devices have been developed to efficiently measure it, <coughs> sorry, and to convert it into usable electrical signals and that too in digital form okay where we get a digital readout so there are various ways in which uh, pressure can be measured with the help of displacement transducers the basic principle which involves is that we uh, connect a diaphragm uh, kind of a setup to the source of pressure the body part where pressure is to be measured and uh, then when the diaphragm is subjected to pressure it undergoes compression and expansion which causes the displacement transducer to respond to that fluctuation that compression and expansion and gives it gives us a signal so the displacement is dependent on the compression and expansion of the diaphragm and the compression and expansion of diaphragm is dependent on the fluctuation of pressure. So, the displacement is indirectly related to pressure fluctuations. Okay. So, various methods uh, of measurement of pressure uh, using displacement transducers we have discussed. There are capacitive type, inductive type, strain gauge type, differential transformer, LVTT type linear and angular encoder we'll discuss in this method piezoelectric type potentiometer type there are various methods so we have already discussed about the optical and angular encoders okay so i want you to please watch that video in detail okay about optical and angular encoders so basic principle of optical and angular encoder it involves a light source a digitally encoded pattern which is etched on uh, discs or rulers and a photo detector so a simple setup it includes a pattern which is etched on a movable ruler through which light is continuously focused on that and depending on the design which is formed on the ruler sometimes light is allowed to be transmitted and sometimes it is blocked so when light is passed through it is captured by the photo detector and produces a signal and when there is no light transmission the photo detector produces no signal same is for angular encoder also it consists of a rotating disk which is which allows transmission or blocking of light signal which is captured by the photo detector so what happens is that the diaphragm that is connected to the body part where pressure is to be measured so when pressure fluctuations happen at a specific part of the body let's say blood pressure the diaphragm it undergoes compression and expansion this in turn causes the ruler the disc or the ruler to move either to rotate or to and fro movement so because of that the light signal it will either get blocked or it will be transmitted which is an indication that pressure fluctuations are happening okay and then the signal of the photo detector which it captures that is then passed through proper signal conditioning circuitry which performs the necessary amplification, filtering of noise signals, frequency response matching, analog to digital conversion, 
linearization if necessary of the output and then it gives us the digital readout okay on a LCD display or any kind of display where the measurement of the blood pressure in terms of the relevant units it is displayed so here we are using the angular encoder or the linear encoder which is acting as a secondary sensing element the primary sensing element is diaphragm which is responding to plug pressure fluctuations that diaphragm movement compression and expansion is causing the ruler to undergo to and fro movement and the disc to rotate which causes fluctuations in the transmission or blocking of the light signals causing the photo detector to produce the required final output okay so this is the basic principle of measurement of pressure biomedical pressure measurement using optical and linear and angular encoders okay so uh, i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much